Hello everyone, welcome to Horror for Me in the Philippines. Well, we're down at the Barangay Hall. Uh, we've been <laughs> we've been requested to make an appearance down here in regards to uh, a complaint uh, one or more dimwits filed with the uh, DSWD. So uh, they want to discuss it with us. And so here we are. And in usual fashion, it's hurry up and wait. Uh, the supposed meeting was supposed to be at 9 a.m. and it's like 9.30 already and we're the only ones here. Yeah, I take it back, it's only 9.20. What you thinking, dude? But we decided to, we were just hanging around down outside, downstairs. But I have nice air con running up here, so we thought we'd just hang out in the conference room. Carlos Garcia, fourth president of the Philippines. Representative of the Third District of Bohol, Governor of Bohol, Senator of the Philippines, Vice President and Secretary of Foreign Affairs, and Fourth President. Hmm. Ingo Aquino. I'm not chasing you, Charlie. Oh, don't bump you. Ed. Let me see if I recognize any of these people here. Well, there's Captain Al. I recognize her. I do, actually. A few of the newer ones here. What are you doing? There's the president. I said I know Vivian actually. Good. <laughs> well, this is an old one here. It's an old photo of the ex-mayor. Well, he was the mayor for almost 25 years here. Well, I'll keep you apprised. All right, well, the, the hearing is over. It lasted, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. Um, it was complaints from the dimwit, uh, which have all been uh, um, adjudicated uh, to be from a crazy old dimwit. Uh, I'm going to 
uh, post this video, but they have also uh, the uh, the head guy there uh, who was representing the DSWD, and there were four people, I think, uh, that were uh, in, in various capacities. Oh, hey, sit up there, Charlie. Um, he said that he would he would at some point uh, send me an email uh, with their findings. Um, the uh, port distribution and uh, the careful buddy and the GoFundMe uh, account for uh, Baby Faith were uh, subjects of discussion, and um, you know, uh, a nut job's a nut job, and they get it, they understand it. Um, we actually. Uh, played uh, a part of uh, one of the Dimwits more notorious videos and after that they were just like you know we were all uh, sharing a good laugh <laughs> that little girl is in love with Charlie um, so uh, I will I will post a I will post the uh, the uh, conclusion letter from uh, DSWD at some point when I get it, I, I don't know. Um, uh, they had said they were going to email it to me. I did, uh, they did say they, that they had uh, emailed me before and uh, I told them that I had never received an email from them and um, they uh, extended the additional courtesy that they would text me uh, when they sent the email this time as well. Uh, we all exchanged numbers. Um, they said uh, that any time in the future were I to do a, another charity event uh, to contact them, uh, there was discussion of a special use uh, permit um, for like a, a one-off, which is like what the uh, pork distribution was. And uh, they further suggested that if I was going to do uh, a large event um, to uh, contact Terrence and Beth, uh, be, and I could uh, do it under the auspices of uh, their legal and registered charity, unlike uh, uh, some other charities here in the Philippines, which say they're legal but are not, um, Terrence and Beth's are uh, fully uh, licensed and so they advised me uh, to uh, that if I was in the future going to uh, do another uh, fundraising event, charity event, however you want to call it, uh, to contact them and uh, coordinate through the uh, basically what they said if it was a barangay level event to coordinate through the brand guy if it was an LGU event which um, means you know like citywide uh, to go through the mayor's office and that if it was outside the LGU uh, to contact them and that um, the, uh, it was no big deal to get the appropriate uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for the, the appropriate uh, green light um, they were uh, overall very uh, courteous and professional and um, uh, were uh, well aware of uh, uh, the nut job uh, and I made them even more, well, more aware of what a nut job he is.
we're all on the same page now. So, uh, as soon as I get the uh, official findings, uh, I guess that's what you call it, the official findings uh, letter. Uh, oh, it was Marisol. Marisol. Uh, there was also uh, mention, uh, he also, you know, he also complained about um, uh, the Baby Faith Charity. <laughs> that we had somehow, uh, uh, the dimwit had said that we were somehow uh, uh, running a charity for Baby Faith when uh, we never, you know, we never touched any of the money uh, that uh, Dennis Ballon uh, either uh, raised through the GoFundMe or uh, personally sent. Uh, we never had any, we never really had anything to do that, do with that other than things that I did uh, behind the scenes, off camera, uh, that I did not video uh, to help uh, Baby Faith, who sadly eventually passed. So uh, they talked to, uh, they, uh-oh, careful, huh? Oh, bumped your mouth. Um, they, they, uh, Marissa was just leaving. They, they called her in right as we were leaving and they spoke with her as well and uh, since uh, nobody has come out with batons and handcuffs uh, I would assume that uh, they have once again figured out that the dimwit is uh, even uh, uh, the the wattage is decreasing even more uh, in the last 10 minutes or so when they were talking to Morris and so um, open the window I rolled up that window there because Charlie was in here mm -hmm. and I didn't want him there. Bye -bye, open the window. Hey, go ahead. The button's over there, lady. So anyway, uh, we're all done here and uh, I will I will post the, um, the final um, conclusion uh, from uh, BSWD. Um, more uh, hysterics over nothing uh, from the dimwit. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.